You know, when you are in trouble, you can make God to be anything at any time. When you are in trouble, you can run and go and worship an idol. Because your circumstance determines. When you are in pain, you can ask and forget that you are a Christian and run for answers that will not be permanent. When, when Satan time was dry, your Christian faith may not be seen. But I came to remind you this morning that I came to encourage somebody who is going through some drama. Somebody is going through what? Some drama. I know we are kind of here this morning. And I am sure each and every one of us has got some drama somewhere. There is some drama in your finances and you don't understand. There is some drama in your family and you don't understand. But I brought a message to somebody that we serve the unlimited God. Hallelujah. We serve the unlimited God. Hallelujah. You and I will serve a God who is able. A God who is able. A God who has no limitation. In the midst of your drama, He shall show Himself strong. In the midst of your confusion, He will rise and show Himself strong. In the midst of your hopelessness, the Lord God shall provide. Hallelujah. There is some drama somewhere. We have to get that hello moon to too serious. But you want to let your sons and Hallelujah. But you serve a God who said I'm going to make it perfect. I am going to make it perfect. Go with me to Ephesians. Chapter 3 and verse 20. I want to speak to somebody that the God that we save has no limitation. I want to speak to somebody that the God that we save is the God of principles. I want to speak to somebody that the God that we save is the, is the God of programs. I, I want to speak to somebody that the God that you and I save is the God of the programs. When he issues a principle, he provides a program for him to fulfill his promise. There is a principle, there is a program, and there is a promise. When God called Abraham to go and sacrifice his son, God was looking at the principle of obedience. Will Abraham obey me to the point of giving over his son? And so God gave him some program that you have to go and bring this it was a problem where Abraham had the chance to change his mind either on the first day or on the second day he would have changed his mind not to sacrifice his son but Abraham realized that it was a problem of God that was taking him to the climax of his ministry Many of us will know the principles of God. But we fail in the programs of God. Many of you started so well. 
You started somewhere. You were a soldier. You were a leper. You were a brother. You were a sister. But on the way, in the midst of the problem, you gave up and you did not receive the promise of God. You encouraged us on this track. You prayed for us. But the program was too long. It was a three-day journey. And in the midst of the program, we are God was perfecting. We are here for three days. For three days. Office. So far, we get cheated up to you. You try to make a day. Six months before we start. Six months. Jesus. When they come, the program and group is in the middle. Now you have to get out of that place. So, say, I'm sure to the top. I'm not I don't know why we say, I'm not sure. I don't know what. I'm not sure. 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 I'm the program has been altered. The plan has been confused. The plan has been confused. The is There is a program of God that you must obey. That you must obey. You must follow in order for you to graduate. If it's a three year program, please don't abort the three years. If it's a four year program, please go to school and get your, your degree. So when you are going through some confusion, you must know this is what? It's not a problem, it's a program. Hallelujah. It's not my, it's not, this is not a problem. It's a problem. It's a problem. It's a problem. It's When you see problems in your life, you must realize God is still working on me. I'm not yet perfect. There are some areas in my life that I need to work on. So this is my training ground for me to become the woman that God wants to use. In your weakness, Hallelujah. Some programs are not nice. Some programs are not nice. Just imagine. This time we were fasting. For, 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 for 14 days on. So some of you went to KFC. Your friends took you to KFC. What a kurukudu! Hey, don't stand as a god. Hallelujah! I said, "What did you say now? No, it's not me." Yeah, not that change. That KFC. That Kondelai program. Hallelujah! Do you know that the time of prayer and fasting is a very dangerous. 
we are prone to a lot of sins. Because the Some will shout hallelujah. Do not forget. There is a principle. There is a program. And there is a promise. You don't receive the promise before you understand the principle. Before you attend. Some will shout hallelujah. Ephesians chapter 3. Verse 20. Can I describe something? The unlimited God. Please let's go get it. Let's go get it. Open your Bible and read it. Hallelujah. Introduce to you the God that is 
Christians that our God is able to do is able to do what? That which no man can do. That which no man can do. Where the doctors have concluded your disease is incurable. You must know you are in the program of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some programs are not nice, they're very painful. Yes. But if that is your program, follow it. Yeah. Because we are trained different. According to our ranks. Your, your training can never be my training. And the harder the training, the higher the calling. Ah, hallelujah. hallelujah. The harder the training, the higher the calling. When you know your training has been so hard, when you know your training has been in camps and in valleys, running from your own children, running up and down from your own people, you must know my calling is higher. I cannot stop now because I have something to achieve for the glory of God. If the mother and the father accepted him, if his brothers celebrated him, God would have not turned to, to train him in the wilderness. You remember the story of Jephthah? Forgotten by his own brother and sister. They called him to a child of a prostitute. And the God Almighty took him into the land of Mortal and he began to train him. Our God is what? He's able. Able to do what? Now to him who is able to carry out his purpose and do so far abundantly more than all that we dare ask of him. Do what? Do more than. Do exceedingly. Do exceedingly. Do what? Exceedingly. We said ample. Is ample. Am I right? The next word we say is exceedingly. This God is able and he does it exceedingly. This God is what? Is able and he does how? Exceedingly. They exceedingly, what's the word? It says by the school fees. Meaning what? Exceedingly means what? Eh? He does it beyond that. He does it up. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. This year the Lord shall do it beyond. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. This shall be a year of exceedingly. Exceedingly. Not the one she asked for. Amen. Yeah. 
Abraham was promised one child. And when Isaac was born, God gave Abraham heart beyond and what? And beyond. You and I, we were connected in Isaac because our God does beyond and beyond. When you are going out this morning, go and touch your business. Say this is going beyond and beyond. It shall save me in my generation. It shall save my children. And save my children and children to come. Because it's a business of beyond and beyond. This sounds some beauty. It shall serve me and save my children and children and children to come because he's a God of beyond and beyond. The money in my hands cannot finish. It must save me. Save my children. Children to come because it's a man of what? Beyond and beyond. This is beyond and beyond. What God shall provide for me this year? What God shall do for me this year? What God shall do for you this year? Now to him who is able to carry out his paper 
The Lord shall meet our needs according to us, to the power that we can wear inside me. So when you see things are not happening in your life, it's because the principles of God are not respected. They are not obeyed in your life. Because what you. It's when the principles of God are obeyed. Then God will take you to the mountain. When you go to the mountain, they shall provide. There is no way God will provide before you meet his do you know that with God if a principle is obeyed by non-believers he gives them his promise hello do you know why people feel he's or smoking do you know why people fail to stop smoking? It's because one one That we 
we did our part to love them. We did our part to show them who God is. Someone shout out to my part. As a snake in the one in another country. We are mad, we are mad. When Mbali brings someone here, Mbali should not sit with that one. Mbali should not invite someone and she sits with her. You are expanding the social group. You are getting connected to one another. She only knew Mbali. Now, because she was sitting with this man, this man, we are Martin. So she will have two people to greet in church after church. This is somebody. We tell this man But I was thinking that now I'm not this man. I'm too. By us to win, one to pay. Hallelujah. Let's do it beyond and what? And beyond. Let's love somebody beyond and what? And beyond. Our God shall supply. Philippians chapter 4, verse 19. It says, The Lord shall do it, shall supply according to what? To his riches. Where? In glory. So if you know you belong to this camp, the Lord shall meet your needs. This whole community. If you know in your heart, that you are really born again. The Lord shall it's a principle of God. I was trying to explain that the principles of work of God works for anybody. Because the non believers they give each other. They are never these people are never broke. Remember those days you said, Did you ever drink? When you drink and you drink, you are finished. Your friends won't leave you in the back. I'm not sure. If you get a Oh, oh, okay. We can enjoy God together, not our money. Our work is not good. We can enjoy God together, not our money. Our work is I want it. And I'm going to learn it. This is what makes people to go to bars because in bars they find connections. When I was a man, I was a sister, I was a sister. They connect each other. I love as a man. Did I see Pusha in a bars? I pray for you in the name of Jesus. That the God who created the heaven shall bless you beyond and beyond.